So maybe there's a new drug in development and we want to compare it to the effectiveness of the old drug. That would be a positive control. And in a well-designed study like this, you probably have both. So you might have three groups. One group receives the new drug that you're testing. One group receives the positive control, the old drug that you know works. And one group receives a negative control. It receives nothing or it receives a placebo. And then you can compare that data really, really well. Now, I've said that word a few times, placebo. I hope lots of you are familiar with this, but a placebo is pretty much something that the participant thinks is real, but is not. There's lots of different ways that we can give a placebo. For example, a sugar pill is a very common one. You also can give somebody a placebo if there's a, an IV medication or a vaccination or something. You vaccinate them with just sterile saline water, and then they think that they are getting the real intervention, but they're not. Now, whenever there's a placebo involved in a study, there's always an informed consent. So all of the participants are informed that there will be a placebo involved in this study. And they know that there's a chance that they could receive the placebo. So they have no right to be upset if they did not receive the actual intervention. Now, we know that the placebo effect can be very powerful.